All right, hi Scorpio, this is going to be your reading. This is for Scorpio placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And be sure you flip the script and pick what side of the story you're on, okay? So Scorpio placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The first card we got is Concern, number 33, reduces down to six. Sagittarius got that. You could be dealing with a Sag or have Sag in your chart. You can also be a life path, six. Yes. We also have Gift. Gemini had got that. Number 17 reduces down to 8. Your life path number could be 8. Or something could be going on in the 8th month or 8th day. We are in August. What else? Okay, Imprisonment. Child. Imprisonment. Number 29. So you could be either a life path 11 or 2. Or a life pack seven. We also have op um, occupation number 34, which reduces down to seven. So somebody's in despair, a false person. Mm -hmm. Somebody could have married a false person. Or you could feel like you married somebody false. This is how somebody's feeling. This is what's going on in their energy. Sorry for the, the noise. Let me just get situated. Okay, so somebody could be in some type of mental imprisonment or actual prison, or they could be facing jail time or scared about that. We'll see. We will see. Mm. Yeah, that could be spiritual prison, too. What's, concern? What's the concern about the Scorpio placements? Okay, so two of pentacles, the hangman. Somebody could be losing money. What's the concern here? Okay, nine of pentacles, Venus and Virgo. Somebody's money, their independence, their stability. Um, I feel like you're minding your business. I don't know if somebody's concerned with you. You're being too quiet. You're, what's this concern? You guys can be worried about your money, your stability. What's concern for Scorpio business? Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Queen of Pentacles is, um, somebody could be a Sagittarius here as well. Or have those placements with the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I thought you're minding your business, focusing on your stability and shit. Tending to your garden, worrying about your home, your money. Whatever you do for work. Some of you guys can have your own business. You could be a good businessman or good, a businesswoman. Okay, well, your money just looks good. I don't know. I feel like whoever that, whoever's concerned, I don't think it's you. Or maybe you are concerned about your money for some of you. Um, concerned, but for my ladies, I don't feel like you guys are too concerned. Or you don't need to be concerned. Yeah, nine of cups here in reverse. Pisces, Aquarius energy. Two of cups here, Venus and... I heard Venus and Aquarius and Venus and Scorpio. But the two of cups is Venus and Cancer. I also just heard Venus and Pisces, but Two of Cups, Venus and Cancer here. The Nine of Cups is in reverse to someone that's insincere. They're a troublemaker. They're very moody. This person could be younger than you, or there could be some type of gap or age difference. Okay, um, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, Empress in reverse. I don't feel like that's right. The Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. Some of you guys try not to base your. Try not to base your self worth on what you have, what you look like. You know? Man or woman, try to make sure, because some of you guys are basing your self-worth over that, over material things, things that are up and down, things that are, that change. So what's this empress here? Somebody here could be pregnant. The fool here, Aquarius energy. Somebody could also be concerned about starting over. Or concerned about some mother figure in their life here. The moon in reverse, Cancer, Pisces energy. Yeah, somebody's um, stubborn here. Deceptive, stubborn, they're bratty. They could, you could be ignoring this person. Letting them, they, they, they can feel you detaching from them. Here. A lot of you guys are single. You're going to be starting over. 
you know, you could be feeling a little down and sad, but you're going to be fine with the food here. You could be going into new love soon. What's the fool? Yeah, Ten of Wands in reverse. You're releasing some type of burden. Saturn and Sagittarius, you're releasing some type of burden. Whatever this is, it's not your concern. <laughs> Focus on yourself. Queen of Pentacles. It's not your responsibility. Queen of Pentacles. For a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yeah, you're putting, you're releasing a burden. And it's stressing somebody out. You have the tower. Aries, Scorpio energy. Somebody could be getting divorced, moving out. Or somebody's can yeah, somebody could be concerned about stability here. Yeah, this tower this came out for Sagittarius and Gemini. So Tower. Yikes. The world here in the Five of Swords. Yeah, something is over. The Ten of Swords, a the, the chapter is over. It's completed. It's done. That cycle, whatever that was, whatever, it, it's it's over. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo energy, Five of Swords, Venus and Aquarius. Somebody could be watching you online, on the World Wide Web, okay, on the internet. Somebody could also be trying to compete with you or vice versa. I don't know. There's a plot and scheme. There, this could be a crime here. Somebody could be worried about a crime being uncovered. They could be worried that you know something or this is you. I don't know. Something could be coming out online. That's a bit shocking. But I feel like this person is doing this on purpose to make you jealous. The world and the five of swords here. I feel like somebody's trying to do something to make you upset. Yeah, two of pentacles to what have you unbalanced, unstable, Jupiter and Capricorn. To have your emotions fluctuated, to have you all all over the place. Maybe something you see online kind of catches you off guard. You could be feeling up in the air about something. This is somebody that's also playing mind games with you. They're very hot and cold, in and out. Like I said, they're moody. They're doing this on purpose. So this is what you're doing to someone. Take it how it resonates. But put this burden down. This person is just a burden. And they're just coming in to cause trouble to disturb your peace. Really, there's something there could be a tower to somebody's finances, to their stability. Okay. For somebody, this is not in the cups in reverse. Yeah, you walked. Hmm. Eight of Wands in reverse, Mercury and Sagittarius, Eight of Cups, Saturn and Pisces. Some of you guys. There could have been a lot of back and forth communication arguments via text or phone calls. I feel like you're leaving something behind. It's not progressing. It's not moving forward. Somebody's just too hot and cold for you. It's a, it's a lot of them. It, it, they have you up in your head a lot. They have you going around in circles. It's, it's, it's over. That shit is over. It's over. It's done. You're walking away. You're no longer interested. You're emotionally detached. It's you're, you're, you're going to focus on healing. It could be from a breakup or a separation. You could have caught this person doing something. Yeah, they could have had a third party. Whatever it was, I feel like it's over. Eight of Cups. What's the Eight of Wands in reverse and the Eight of Cups? You're not giving to this anymore. You're not giving this your energy. You don't need to. Yeah, son, here you're going towards your happiness. Leo energy, period. You're going cut and dry reading, going towards your happiness. You're detaching from someone. They miss an opportunity with you. They didn't want to, you know, somebody didn't want to step up. They were in their ego. They took too long or, you know, they just didn't appreciate you. And also you're being protected from this person. Their money is fucked up too or it's going to be. That could be part of their karma. Something could be coming out that's going to allow you to walk away from someone or, or something. But you're going towards your freedom. You're leaving some shit behind. So whether you were concerned about it or not, I feel like there is going to be a solution to a problem. Yeah, you're detaching from something. Somebody could have some type of um, addictions. This could be um, a, like drug addictions, alcohol, sex, materialism, gambling. It could be anything. Here, yeah, what's this gift? Yeah, not a swords here in reverse. 
Yeah, somebody feels like you could be out of their league here. Um, Gemini, Taurus energy. Somebody could be a May Taurus or a Gemini. You may feel like somebody's out of your league. The Knight of Swords could be someone that's a bit impulsive, aggressive, very witty. They're very in and out. The most aggressive out of the Knights here. Yeah, you got a queen and then there's two knights. So what the fuck is that about here? What's this gift? What's this gift? The Scorpio. Yeah, three of pentacles. The um, Three of pentacles and a strength card. Heavy Leo energy. You could be dealing with the Leo. Or you can have Leo in your chart, your moon or rising sign. Or you're a Leo with a Scorpio moon or rising. But the three of pentacles, Mars and Capricorn. The strength card, Leo energy. You know, I feel like you were a gift to someone, Scorpio, and they fumbled you. These mind games, they could have gaslighted you. They could have been juggling you. They fumbled you. But this is you. Now somebody is, is like, you know, they did something very impulsive. Some of you guys, you have a past life. There's a lot of past life lessons that you're learning right now, that you're clearing out. Three of Pentacles could be a contract. It could be a new job. Um, some of you guys are very spiritually gifted, too. You need to do something with that. What's the... Yeah, somebody could be getting a divorce. Taurus, heavy Taurus here. Taurus energy. Okay. Um, what's the gift here? Scorpio placements. Somebody could also be non-committal too. Yeah, Eight of Swords in reverse. Jupiter and Gemini energy. Um, Sagittarius got A A A, and so did Gemini. So you can have Gemini or Sag in your chart, or your person does. Go check out those readings as well. Eights are all about like karma. So something is very karmic. Karmic lessons. Karmic debt. Somebody could be trying to break. Somebody could feel like they got their hands tied. They did something very impulsive with maybe a group of people, three or more people. But the Knight of Swords here and five of, what did I say? Five of Wands, Saturn and Leo. A group of people, three or more people. This could have been like some type of strategy where for finances to what rob you or to do so or take something from you or this is somebody here that could be trying to copy you. Five of Wands is like pettiness. Somebody could have said something verbally or they did something impulsively or they said something really fucked up and mean or this is you. Five of Wands in reverse is about compromising, but that's not and when it's in reverse, but I'm not getting that. I, I'm not, I'm really not. This is like a battle. Somebody being really petty, passive aggressive, really petty. Somebody knows you're getting something and they could be like doing petty shit here. Okay, five of wands in reverse. Yeah, they know you're getting something. Two of wands in reverse, Mars in Aries, and the ace of fucking pentacles. You're getting something. Hold on. Yeah, somebody could be trying to take, I feel like rob you or, or take something of, or you could be losing something of value or this is someone else. They could have lost you. But yeah, two of wands in reverse is you could be feeling stuck, trapped, indecisive. You're getting something with this too. I feel like something has been decided that you could have been competing. You could have been in competition, maybe spiritually without even realizing it. But anyways, I feel like you're being gifted with something. Well, you have a gift here, and it's been a long time coming, okay? You've been learning the lessons, you've been doing the work, and you're being rewarded for something, I feel like. Two of Wands in reverse, your mind could be made up. You could have been going back and forth with something, weighing your pros and cons. I feel like your mind is made up. This could be something in regards to your work. You could be getting a new job, a new position, adding new services to your business. This could be a business idea. The two of wands could also be like a failed plan, a failed strategy. 
So whatever these people are trying to keep from you, I feel like you're getting it anyway. Three of Pentacles and a string. This could be petty co-workers or just petty people you're around. Petty friends too. Three of Cups in reverse, Mercury and Cancer. This could be a lot of gossip at work. Yeah, you're getting a bonus or you're getting something and people are what, mad, they're jealous. They're, they're being really petty, passive aggressive. Or oh, this could be you. What's this three of cups in reverse? Yeah, four of cups, moon and cancer. <laughs> you know what's funny? I feel like... So say somebody chose someone else over you, right? This person, somebody is bored with some type of choice or decision. They did something very impulsive. They could have, what, proposed to someone. They could have offered somebody something. Maybe they didn't give it to you. Now somebody's stuck. They're bored. They're unhappy. They're miserable. Go watch your reading. I did for you a couple readings back where I said they got sold a lemon. Somebody really got sold a lemon. They're miserable. They hate it there. They hate it there. They hate it. Four of Cups. They rejected you and gave something to somebody else. They made a very bad decision. They hate it. Four of Cups. <laughs> yeah, Queen of Swords in reverse. They gave some shit to a Queen of Swords in fucking reverse. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Virgo. Somebody could be a September Libra or Virgo. Aquarius, maybe. But yeah, somebody's a liar. They're the Queen of Wands in reverse. A Two of Cups. Yeah, something. Somebody. Uh, yeah, a confession. Somebody could have did something very impulsive, very fast. They could have got married or engaged or whatever this stupid shit is. Queen of Wands in reverse. This person is abusive. They're toxic. They're promiscuous. They're very insecure. Very, somebody's very competitive. They're a dark witch possibly. Very competitive here. Queen of Swords in reverse is someone that's bitter some of you guys could be a bit bitter maybe if they chose someone else over you or they given this job or maybe somebody's trying to take your credit for something you could be bitter upset about that as you should be but make sure you speak up don't just sit there and be passive aggressive and walk around pout speak up about how you feel okay the queen of what's this queen of swords it, this could be a lot of suppressing of negative emotions too that you've been holding in here uh, maybe this is something to do with work. So Queen of Pent or clients or something. Somebody that you may co-parent with or this is your person. Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, the Emperor in reverse. Aries. This could be a boss, a manager. Aries energy. This could be somebody, that, a mother or father of your kids here. Somebody's very controlling. They micromanage. They also lie. Somebody lies or they, they verbally abuse people to maintain some type of control and power. Very oppressive this person is. What's this Ace of Pentacles? Yeah, Page of Wands, you're getting good news. Keep this to yourself. You could be getting a, some, a new opportunity, something big. You're networking. People may want to work with you here. So I feel like somebody's trying to take credit for your work or something that you did. But some of you guys have some good news coming. And whatever this gift is, it's been a long time coming. So it's coming. Okay. You could have felt stuck at a stalemate. You could have felt like something didn't work, but it's coming. The hard work, everything is, you're going to, yeah, it's coming. You could have some, yeah, what's this emperor in the world? This is like, I don't like the emperor in reverse. Yeah, ace of cups. Some of y'all are meant to get pregnant, but maybe not by a particular person. Justice in reverse. Yeah, Libra energy. Yeah, I feel like somebody's in their feelings now. person's very controlling stubborn there could be a lack of structure somewhere too some y'all could feel me a, a mentally scattered as well yeah so what's this page of walls about some of y'all are pregnant or will be getting pregnant but maybe just wasn't supposed to be this part with this person 
Yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you guys were not meant to build something with a particular you, a, a particular person. Um, this can also be an inheritance. You're breaking generational curses, Scorpio. That's what you're there's, that's what you're supposed to be doing. Some of you guys are not meant to have a child out of wedlock. For those of you, if you've been having a hard time getting pregnant here, that's not for everybody. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Mercury in Virgo. For those of you who already have kids, maybe you're not meant to be with this person long term. You may have love for this person, but maybe, you know, they, they gave you your child and maybe that's all it was supposed to be. For some of you guys who already have kids with this person. But there's a something is there's no longevity in something. Some of you guys need to start something over. What's this time? Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, three of wands here in reverse. Yeah, some of you guys, Aries energy. You could be seeing 333, um, Gemini and Sagittarius had that. Yeah, there's like the three of wands in reverse is like not seeing toward the future, delays, no expansion. Some of y'all don't see a future in something that you've been doing for work for a long time or maybe somebody that you've been with for a long time. You no longer see a future with this person. The love is there, but something I'm just getting, yeah. It's a no. So you could be going towards something new or starting something new. Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, six of wands here in reverse. Jupiter and Leo. Six, I mean, seven of wands. Mars and Leo. There is something that was blocked for your highest good. Yeah, you, again, the six of pentacles. You have something better coming in. It's, it's coming in slow with the six of pentacles and nine of pentacles. It, and that which is whatever this gift and that ace of pentacles is it could be a pregnancy for some of you guys it could be a job money or it could be love it's going to be different for everybody but it's been coming in because you're being protected from something else okay make sure your pride and ego isn't getting in the way causing resistance you may have to defend yourself. Don't lower your standards. Stick to your boundaries. Stick to your standards because you are going to get what you want. Six of pentacles in reverse. Six of wands in reverse. You're going to be getting an equal give and take. Something's going to be fair and balanced out. Six of wands in reverse. Yeah, four of wands. Venus and Leo. I mean, somebody could have a Venus and Leo, but Venus and Aries. Somebody could feel stuck in a home dynamic or marriage or a relationship. There could be jealous family members, people in your neighborhood who are jealous and envious of you about something that you're getting. Four of Wands. What's this Four of Wands? Yeah, the star here. Aquarius energy. This could be a new home. You're being gifted something. This could be an inheritance that you've been like you need to kind of um this yeah, it could be some type of inheritance here for some of you. Or you inherited some type of spiritual gifts. You're healing is something that you're is something that you're doing that's already healing though. You're like your bloodline, generational stuff. Maybe the way you parent or your or the way you're going to parent. Something is you're healing your bloodline. Okay. Six what's the star here? What's the star? The devil. Capricorn energy. You could be healing family addict. This could be like certain addictions that run in your family, certain illnesses. You could be getting like this could be like a contract as well. Somebody could be on a Capricorn Aquarius cusp or a January Aquarius, January Capricorn. I'm also getting somebody being addicted to your energy. Some of you guys are in the spotlight. You could be in the public eye. You get a lot of attention. Somebody could be fame hungry or attention seeking. Somebody like wants someone's attention. What's this devil? What's the... Yeah, four of pentacles, Capricorn energy. Somebody's very possessive. 
I'm getting energy harvesting. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. There's energy harvesting. This could be going on in like a, a community of people, family. This could be like a cult for some of you guys that somebody's a part of that they didn't recognize. They could something could be with the page of wands here. The, I don't know the sun here. Something could be evolving, kids. Hopefully not, but somebody's like energy harvesting off of someone or taking energy and then giving it to someone else. The energy transfer. Be careful with that. Oh, what's the, I have to get off that. What's the imprisonment? Somebody is, is, is possessive, controlling. Make some of you guys are staying to yourself. Okay, celibacy, all of that. Yeah, that may be the right thing to do. A lot of and a lot of weird stuff is here. A lot of energy harvesting and things. What's the imprisonment? What's this imprisonment? Yeah, seven of wands here in reverse. Mars and Leo. Somebody, you know, somebody did something reckless. Something is blown up in somebody's face. Imprisonment. You could be seeing, is that, is there four, yeah, four of cups. You could be seeing four, 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 four of wands, four of cups, four of pentacles. Gemini got that. Okay, what's imprisonment? It's too many. What's imprisonment? Somebody could be getting, somebody may be surrendering themselves and getting locked up, turning themselves in. I'm not like somebody was trying to lure somebody in. Somebody got lured into a trap or something. The hangman. Yeah, somebody's getting caught. Pisces energy. Somebody could be going, um, serving time. Or they could be, if this could be something that's, I don't know, something is being delayed. Yeah, somebody's going to have to surrender. Maybe surrender themselves. Somebody could be getting ratted out for something. Two of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Did I see Two of Swords? Okay, no. What's this imprisonment? Yeah. Okay, Two of Cups in reverse. So somebody could, you could be breaking up with someone because they're getting locked up, or this is where, I don't know. Or this could be a spiritual or mental prison. Two of Cups here, Venus in um, Cancer. There's a breakup, a disharmony, a disunion. Maybe you're not seeing eye to eye with somebody. Yeah, somebody's worried. They could be going to prison. This could be something to do with children here. I'm not even going to lie. Um, I'm not even going to lie here. What's the seven of wands in reverse? Yeah, six of cups, something to do with the past. There's a past, a past influence here. Scorpio energy, this is your energy, Scorpio. Something to do with it. I'm getting, I don't, I don't want to, oh, seven of wands in reverse, but the will of fortune in reverse, somebody's getting bad karma, Sagittarius energy, this is somebody's karma, yeah, somebody's getting caught, they're going away for a long time possibly, or they're being sent away, somebody could be turning themselves in, they did something to a child, somebody could be turning themselves in, or getting caught or in trouble, will of fortune in reverse, Yeah, three of swords here in reverse, child. Saturn and Saturn and um in Libra. Ten of Swords here, Gemini energy. Ooh. There's something is not going in somebody's favor. This could be a co-worker, somebody could have did something on the job or something here. What's this three of swords in reverse? Somebody could be losing a job. Somebody's been working on something for a long time. Or this is what somebody likes to do. This is how they make their money. They Somebody just does. Yeah, the king of cups in reverse is heavy. So Scorpio, you're showing up really heavy in your reading. Mars and king of cups, Scorpio energy. Five of cups, Mars and Scorpio. Six of cups, Scorpio sun and the death card, Scorpio. You're showing up really heavy in your energy. You could be dealing with the fellow water sign, Cancer or Pisces. The King of Cups is like a is 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 um they're alcoholic. They're also this is somebody that's a pervert. Mm -hmm. Somebody's a perv. So three of swords in reverse.
the King of Cups in reverse, the Knight of Cups, somebody who's ruthless, they're, they're emotionally not well. Three of Swords in reverse. Three of Swords here in reverse. I want to get off this reading. Get me the fuck out of here. Yeah, Page of Cups in reverse. Something, another page. Something to do with a child. Queen of Cups in reverse. This could be a couple that would, another page. They could have been doing all type. I don't know. This is a very weird reading. Pouring things in kids' drinks and stuff to take out. I don't know. It's very weird. Something is very weird. It's, it's, it's something that's going on with, like, I don't know. This Queen of Cups here. This could be, watch your kids. This could be a, a, a man and a woman doing this. Somebody's a liar. They're gossipy. They're emotionally vindictive, petty, spiteful. Page of Cups is somebody that's very salty, very, like, vindictive. They're a liar. They act like they're innocent, but they're not. With the three of swords in reverse, this could be like a lot of repressed trauma since childhood. Okay, page of cups in reverse. Yeah, seven of swords in reverse. Somebody's getting caught in a lie. They're getting moon in Aquarius. Somebody's getting caught doing something. Yeah, and look, Nova's up in the thing. I'm telling you, something to do with kids that somebody's going to prison for. The Seven of Swords always gets caught. Somebody got fucking caught. You know, they, they, somebody's getting fucking caught. The Hangman. This person may this person may want to turn over a new leaf with you because they could be going to prison. It's something. Yeah, they turn. They and they need allies. They need people. They need or somebody in their corner. Um, Nine of Pentacles, Virgo, Leo energy. Somebody could be a. Somebody could be an August Virgo or an August Leo. What's this Knight of Pentacles in a challenging position? Somebody's going to be going to jail. They don't know if they're going to be going. It's up in the air how long they're going to be going for. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Yeah, everything is not fine. Yeah, the police. Somebody could be a police officer. They can do EMT or they can ride bikes. So I don't know, the chariot, Cancerian energy. Something is odd. Something has become out of control. That's why this tower is here with this Queen of Pentacles. It's been going on for too long. For too long. Maybe two years. A child. Something could have been happening to a child for two years. Or when a child, or when somebody was too. I don't know. But it could have been even longer than that. Something has gotten out of control. With this chariot in reverse. Something has gotten way. Somebody's ego. Something has gotten way out of fucking control. Ten of swords here. Yeah, high priestess in reverse. Pisces, cancer energy, a lot of secrets. This could be shit going on at work. Okay, somebody could have a law or, or um, a background or work in a police, a police station. A lot of secrets here. A lot of secrets that are very painful that you may find out about someone or something here. Somebody's definitely could be going into some type of prison or spiritual prison. Two of cups in reverse. You could be seeing 1010. Something is over. Sagittarius. And go check out Sag's reading for sure. Sag and Gemini got that. If you have Sag as your moon, rising, or Venus sign, go check them out. Or if you're dealing with one, two of cups in reverse. Or you could be a Sag or Scorpio placements. A lot of secrets here. Two of cups in reverse. It's definitely going to cause a breakup or it, I don't know. Yeah, seven of cups in reverse is a missed opportunity here. Somebody didn't take, somebody didn't take an offer. They could have made a wrong decision. Yeah, the judgment in reverse, no second chances. Somebody made a wrong decision. They made the wrong one. They could have overly judged you. This is a lot. I'm getting a lot of gossip. A lot of gossip. Seven of cups in reverse. Venus and Scorpio. Somebody could have did something out of super for superficial reasons. You could be seeing seven, seven, seven. Sevens are about warnings. This is definitely a warning for somebody. Seven of wands, seven of swords, seven of cups. Seven of cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody could be going through a rude awakening. Ace of swords here, that's gonna, a lot of truth, a lot of clarity, because this person could have been stubborn. They could have went back to something and it ended just as fast. They were in denial or yeah, they didn't see something. They didn't... They didn't read the fine print. And now somebody is hurt. They're sad. They're stressed. 
they thought they were what to get into ace of swords here yeah temperance sagittarius energy yeah something is coming out in time somebody's gonna be doing some heart somebody could be doing time going away for a while nine of wands it could be seven years temperance here sagittarius or this could be spiritual prison i don't temperance yeah the hermit somebody's gonna be here yep and somebody's in regret they were so fucked yeah somebody's left out in the cold somebody could be getting arrested and you're minding your fucking business focusing on your work <laughs> virgo energies here mercury and capricorn taurus i just the five of pentacles is mercury and taurus but i heard mercury and capricorn five of cups mars and scorpio yeah there's a lot of sadness grief somebody if somebody has been refusing to self-reflect they've been in la la land but somebody's about to somebody's going to end up going somebody's going to have to sit their ass down and it's going to force this person to self-reflect and, and reflect on their actions because this person has been getting away with something or the seven of swords can be somebody that's very avoidant Somebody could be very avoided, and this person's not going to be able to be avoided anymore. Somebody's not going to be able to lie, scheme, or avoid their problems. Somebody's going to have to sit down and really face themselves for a long time. It could be spiritually or actual prison. Let's get some tea. Leaf. Yeah. The hermit. Somebody could, this could be happening during um, Virgo season, Sagittarius season, maybe. Yeah, and we got older women. Dealings or relationship with an older woman. So this could be, written, so I don't know, somebody's mother could have snitched or said something. I don't know. Or a mother figure. Somebody's grandmother. Somebody could have robbed the old lady. Who People are crazy. I don't know. We have dark woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. So something going on. Okay. Fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Now we saw that chariot in reverse. Hate, that's somebody that's very hateful. Hate triumphing over love. Somebody that's out of control. They have no sense of direction. They, somebody's going to do something that's going to land them in prison or they're going to be sent away for a long time or, or some type of psychiatric help to heal something. Staff, and they did all of this to keep two people apart. This is like spiritual warfare. So this could be like a spiritual imprisonment staff you will be taken care of in difficult times so whatever you're going through right now scorpio you'll get through it spare heartache over what you no longer have some of you guys could be sad about something table hard work ahead yeah you're gonna have to work hard on something something's gonna require um some hard work okay chain chain of events that will affect your life chain of events that will affect your life somebody yeah, somebody, man. Beetle, good fortune. I feel like you're fine. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Be careful who you do business with. Jug, lighthearted and carefree time. Some of y'all need to go out and have a little bit more fun. Okay. Balance, work-life balance. Door opportunities are waiting for you. We did see the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Throne, position of authority. Somebody could be abusing their position of authority. A manager, a supervisor, a parental figure. Especially if it's something involving kids. Camel, it could be a boss or a supervisor. Camel, persevere and you will overcome problems. So Scorpio, yeah. This was your reading. This was crazy, but um, somebody's getting what's coming to them. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.